So it's been like almost three weeks since my last video. So I know guys, I've been slacking. But real quick, I just wanna say thank you to you guys. Uh, this video is gonna be a little different. So I wanna show you guys something and also do a couple unboxings. Here's my Mugen Strut Bar. It's probably one of the first pieces I ever bought for my car, probably back in like 2013. I just wanna show you guys real quick, like the uh, quality on it. And uh, I actually bought it like this. It came damaged, like the decal was kind of coming off. I don't know when the you know, first run of production was for this or what year this was made, but I'd want to say probably like 20, I don't even know. I, I can't even say what year, but I just want to show you guys the, uh, the quality on this. Here's a little burn mark on the other side, on the inside part. And I uh, just want to show the quality, man. The welds on this are like top quality. And you guys see my intake and this is just right up there. Like the welding is, is really nice. Now, if you look at like um, some knockoffs and stuff, the welds are they're really bad and I've seen them before so and I'm not saying that a uh, knockoff Mugen Strut bar is not going to perform just as well because I'm pretty sure it will or any other brand at that spoon or any other brand I'm pretty sure they're all going to perform just as well I'm just showing you guys just the amount of work that Mugen puts in so shout out to Kings Motorsport this is where I bought the new decal from now they have a bunch of different decals where you can replace I'm sorry you can replace everything off of any Mugen part that you buy if you want to replace the decal off of it so um, there's a part number and I put it right on there now it has this seal on the back and that lets you know that you know this thing is authentic um, this was a two-piece so just had to cut it in half and here's a little comparison just to show you that it's the same exact one removing this uh, I thought it was gonna come off my nails being that it was so beat up but uh, I tried a couple different methods and the blade just at a really good angle not scratching the uh strut bar or anything or at least keep the scratching down to a minimum took about five minutes and i had everything off now uh just to get the little goo off of there i pretty much just used goo off and it worked it worked really good just to use a little microfiber and i had no issues getting it off uh you know went back to the blade a couple times and once I got everything off, cleaned off the surface really good with some alcohol. Now I measured for center on the strut bar as well as the decal. Uh, now I'm going to tell you guys the truth. The reason, the main reason I did not use the strut bar is because of this decal. It just, it was all messed up and I didn't know how to find another one. But I actually took some time out and found it and uh, yeah, can finally throw this thing on. Now, I know it's not gonna come out perfect, like brand new from the factory, but we're definitely gonna try our best. Uh, as you guys can see, the decal is, is good. Um, I think I was slightly off centering, but you know, it's good enough for me. Now, I do prefer white diamonds for polishing and that's what I've used before, but that's all I had laying around the house was this I don't know. I, I really don't know what brand it was. I think I got it at Walmart or something years ago. But uh, the power cone on this thing is just, it works great. And it's pretty much never let me down when I'm polishing something. You just throw this on any type of drill. It could be an impact or just a regular drill. And, and it works, man. Uh, that's all I can say is that it does work. Uh, Beats kind of just doing it by hand. So uh, everything came out perfect. I uh, checked everything, make sure the decal was still on there pretty good. I try not to polish over that, so I threw some tape on there, but yeah, a couple more passes maybe in the future and it should look a lot better. I wasn't really too concerned about it underneath, but yeah, here's the final results and yeah, I could finally use this thing again. So this next piece, I was actually really happy to find a really good deal on this. Uh, I was looking at ICB Motorsports and brand new was around I think 730 shipped and I was able to get these for 500 which wasn't really bad because I still have my OEM ones that I could sell for maybe around 150 to 200 so uh, it works out and it's just one of those pieces I've always wanted since I own my car I think everybody who probably owned their car or their DC5 for a very long time at some point probably wanted one of these so uh, these are really mint. The guy told me he barely even used these. These are just in like pristine condition. I, I give it like a nine out of 10 because it didn't even look like it was used. Here, I'm showing you both of them, left and right. And yeah, as you guys can see, it's just really good condition. He included the, 
the gaskets with it which i was gonna buy so the fact that he included that and it was free shipping it was just a really good deal now for those of you that don't know these did come off a dc5 type r here i'm showing you just a little honda markings on the back really good condition i was really happy when i got these this guy did not use these at all and usually when you look on ebay you can find them for like 350 but you're gonna see the inside has like mold or some like rust now honda does a good job making sure that they have honda written all over everything it's on the lens it's on the inside uh, i was able to get you guys a part number as well i think this one's for the right yep and uh yeah it says japan on it and everything but there's a honda all over this thing now this thing bolts right onto your car so there's no issues with that same mountain holes same everything so uh this is definitely gonna go on the car i'm not quite sure when but uh definitely very soon next up as you guys can see and it's probably very obvious what i got here but this guy and i've never seen this type of wrapping before <laughs> It's like aluminum foil with like padding on it. I'm not quite sure. I think it said like dyno mat or something. I'm not quite sure. I think this is like padding for like sound for your car or something. I'm not quite sure where you got it. I've never seen someone sh like mold a packaging, you know, for something. I don't know. Anyways, it's a Type R uh, center console. Very good condition. There's a couple markings on it, but overall it's really good. Uh, it's a little dirty in some areas. Like I do have to clean it, but really good condition. I'd probably give this a 8 out of 10, so it's not too bad. It did have everything I needed except for the e-brake. As you guys can see, there's a mark right there. Now, what impresses me the most about this thing is that it came from Japan. Guys, Japan, and this thing is not destroyed. That's crazy. Even the boot isn't like in really bad condition. My R sucks when I bought it and it was uh, back in like 2011 and my car was a 06. The boot was just already destroyed. So uh, I don't know how someone kept this in such good condition. Even the badging for the Type R where it says Type R, even that's like not even scratched. Now this center console, I think it comes in three pieces. There's the back part for the lighter. There's the one for the e-brake, which I'm showing you guys the part number right there. And there's part numbers all over this. There's the part number for the center console, if you guys are going to be looking for that. And yeah, I think even the cup holder, there should be a part number for that as well. Now, I did get the front lighter cover, and I didn't put it in this video or anything like that. But I believe that's not going to work, so you're going to have to use your, your factory one. Uh, the two front covers that are closer to the, the shifter, I believe you have to use your stock ones as well. But uh, everything should line right up, especially if you just get the, uh, the Type R e-brake. Now, I ended up buying the Type R e-brake. I believe you can use your stock one. You can make it work. You might have to do a little bit of fabbing or, or uh, just making more room for it, I guess. I've never really done it. But here it is, the Type R one. And I purchased this one just because it's, it's going to bolt right up. I'm not going to have any issues. And I just wanted to have the complete kit. And yeah, it's good to have all together. Just in case one day you do choose to part ways with it. You have the whole thing. It's a lot easier to sell. Everything's going to work as is. There's a little e-brake thing that sends signal that your e-brake is initiated or it's working. But yeah, no scratches on this thing a gun it's like this thing came from japan and it's like mint condition now the one thing that stands out to me is definitely the button the e-brake button other than that man i'd have to give this maybe uh eight out of ten not bad for the condition in the year next up i got my push start and this is another thing i've been wanting for a very long time it's just one of those pieces you don't really need because i always thought it was kind of dumb <laughs> to still have to put your key in and uh push the button I, like i don't know and i do remember cars coming out like that for a while like you still have to put your key in but you had a push start so uh for the year i think 2002 they started doing that push start stuff that's how they used to do it and uh yeah so this thing removes pretty easy i was taking it apart just to see how it works and as you guys can see a couple more markings on the inside whatever that means but yeah you can remove that 
that little cover or that little bezel thing for the uh, push start that can be replaced you could buy that brand new and then you can have like a mint condition I believe those go for like 20 bucks or something like that really cheap but yeah these snap right back in and yeah these things I was looking at the instructions and it's very easy to install basically well real quick let me show you the part number uh, well actually you can't really see it I'll see if I could post it up on the screen but basically to install this thing is two grounds you got a couple relays you don't have to mess with you just have to find a spot for it to sit uh, the grounds you just pretty much ground it to anything and it's got that green plug that goes into your push start and other than that you got the two other plugs that go to your ignition and that's it man it's really easy should take you like maybe 20 minutes now I will say that this thing was taped up <laughs> like no other like this guy well I got let me just tell you a little backstory I got this from uh, I think it was Thailand yeah the guy was like from Thailand on Facebook and he had probably had like five or six of these and he was selling for like 150 each so it's a really good deal better than ICB and uh yeah but I thought it was gonna be you know loom like factory and stuff because I don't know there's just no reason to have to open this up but yeah so relays were there there's actually one missing there but I think it's supposed to be like that I'm not quite sure I've never had another one to even compare it to but I think that's the way it's supposed to be uh, there's a little mountain hole where you can mount it to wherever it's got to go and yeah push start the engine part it looks good on camera but it was it's a little worn out it's not like mint mint condition but it's good enough for me man i'm happy with it and uh, yeah this is just one of those pieces i always wanted now this next one is something that i've been wanting for a while now and i've seen it and it was actually this ebay seller from like cali and he's had it in his shop i think he started off for like nine of these were like available and they were like slowly going down and then i think he had like two when i finally ordered it and uh yeah he sells a lot of 1320 products for some reason but yeah this is well needed i feel like it ties in my whole interior together as i keep working on it now it was not easy guys receiving these parts in the mail and not being able to open it right away like every time i got a part i like ran and got my camera and just like did the box opening and i'm like all right now i can really look at it but hopefully you guys like it as much as i do because this is like something i've been wanting for a while a feels shift knob this one's weighted this is not the titanium one the titanium one i feel that it's like probably half the weight of this one i think it said online like it was like 300 grams this is just a regular sh uh feels one and like i said the guy has like certificates and everything that he bought it from fields in japan so it was pretty cool pretty cool i uh didn't get any special boxing for it it was just like that white box and then it, it came from saran wrap like that even when i looked on um icb uh motorsports at theirs it was like the same packaging it was like just a plain packaging this is all you got now you guys know me well especially been following me for a while i always try to give you guys a little extra just some information and here's the weight i did it in grams so basically that's what they weigh these shift knobs in is grams so 494 i think i had a couple other options so a pound and then 17.4 ounces so just give you guys a couple different looks at how it weighs so almost 500 grams which is basically almost what my um my other shift knob weighed so there's a little grooves on it really nice i really don't see any flaws in this thing really well done i just love weighted shift knobs i don't know about you guys but it's just like ever since i got my first weighted shift knob i think this is my third one i just can't go back to like a regular one it has to be weighted it just feels better in your hand and it's just like a better feel so that's it guys that's all i got these are all the parts i've gathered maybe within a month and slowly just receiving a couple things i think we're at that point that you know i just order stuff maybe just gather up a couple things and then just do like a little install video but so far this is all i got so yeah that's about it hopefully you guys like this little voiceover just something a little different i did get a new mic so hopefully my voice sounds a lot better than before 
And yeah, I think we're at that point that, I don't know, maybe I'll just gather a couple parts and just make one video, well, a better video than just putting just anything out. So yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully everyone's safe. Peace out, guys.